So give yourself permission to be authentic. You may have to say no to people on all the things that they're imposing on you. You may have to say thank you, but no thank you. I've got my mission to fulfill. Anything less than that is unfulfilling to me. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Martini. Uh, I'd like to share with you on this particular segment a very important principle about living an inspired vision. Now you've probably heard many things about that. Uh, inspired life, living with vision, visionary leadership, and um, how to put an inspiring vision together. I'd like to share with you something that is very, very, very beautiful about how the brain works and how your life works. First of all, you've heard me mention values in most of my talks. Every human being lives by a set of priorities, a set of values, things that are most important to least important in their life. And whenever an individual is living in alignment and congruent with their highest value, the thing that's most important, they are spontaneously inspired from within to fulfill it. And this is one of the keys of mastering your life and living an inspired life, identifying what's truly most important to you. So often we think we know but our life is actually demonstrating what it is, but we sometimes don't honor looking at our life. We're so accustomed to subordinating to individuals or collective groups on how we're supposed to be, instead of actually looking at how we would be inspired to be. But, but the second we set goals that are aligned with our highest values, the executive center in the brain, the medial prefrontal cortex of the telencephalon in the brain, come online. The, uh, Functional MRIs show that there's glucose and oxygen in that area and it comes into activity. And that area of the brain is associated and correlated with all of a sudden clarity of vision, strategic strategies and thinking, and clear articulation and also execution. So your ability to speak it and to act it is clear. Anybody who's master in a sport that they're inspired to go and master or anybody in any field that want to become superstars, if they live congruently with their highest values, they activate that area of the brain that allows them to do it. So you might say it's an unborrowed visionary, a strategic planning, and a very articulate execution of plans that help you achieve things as a leader if you live according to the highest values. So this highest value is also the telos. The telos in the Greeks meant the chief aim or the end in mind. It's really the study of the telos, teleology, is the study of meaning and purpose. So whatever is highest on your value is the most purposeful, most meaningful, most inspiring things you could fulfill in your life. So the second you do, you get the advantage of being inspired, feeling like your life has meaning, all of a sudden getting to activate the executive center, seeing a clear vision for where you want to go, seeing a strategy on how to get there, and articulating it as a message for the people around you to get them engaged in the fulfillment of your dream and also executing it strategically by priority according to your values to get there. In other words, you maximize your potential and you maximize who you are when you identify your highest value and set sail as captain of your ship and master of your destiny according to it. You are master of your destiny when you live by your highest value and you become a victim of your history when you don't. Anytime you're living by lower values, you tend to see things in the way, not on the way, obstructive, not instructive. And again, you become victims of your history because you feel like the world's against you. You need motivation on the outside to get you to do the things that are low on your value, but you're inspired from within. It's intrinsic. It's from your natural nature. In theology, they call it the calling. You're automatically dedicated to that highest value in the fulfillment of your dreams. So if you like to live an inspired, purposeful life, it's first stopping and reflecting exactly what is most important to your life. And this is not easy for some people because they're so used to subordinating to people on the outside, mothers, fathers, preachers, teachers, or peer pressure, or social idealisms, or religious idealisms, or people that they look up to and they inject values of other people in. They cloud the clarity of their purpose and block their inspirations and make them go after doing things that aren't really important to them and then make them wonder why, why do they keep sabotaging, what's wrong with them, why are they not staying focused, why? Those are all signs and symptoms of subordination to other people and trying to be somebody you're not instead of giving yourself permission to be the magnificent you. The moment you are truly living according to your highest values, the real you, which your identity revolves around, you actually maximize that executive center. Not the amygdala, 
the lower primitive brain system that's wanting immediate gratification, trying to avoid pain, trying to seek pleasure, futility, with futility, but to actually going after something that's meaningful and fulfilling it. You have patience, you have long-term vision, you see strategies, you're visionary, and I always say that any detail you leave out of your vision is an obstacle you face in your life, and when you live by your highest value, your vision becomes clear. You see it detailed, you see it strategically. That's why it's so important to live authentically, with integrity, according to your highest value, if you want to live an inspired and purposeful life. You deserve it. There's no reason why you can't do it. Don't let anybody on the face of the earth tell you you can't, because it's simple once you identify what's really highest on your values. Now you know on my website, if you go on the value determination segment on the menu, determine your values, hit a little button, put in your email, you can simply go in there and go through a 13-step process to assist you on determining what those are. Follow it with authenticity. Don't write down stuff that's not so. Write down and get really specific on what it is. If you go through those 13 questions, it'll help you identify what's really important to you, and then you want to start organizing your life and structuring your life accordingly. You're not going to go to the highest levels in your life unless you're willing to link what you're doing to this highest value, delegating lower priority things, and giving yourself permission to live by the ABCs, the highest priorities, instead of the XYZs. If you live by the top three highest priorities in life, and particularly that top one, you empower your life. If you live by anything less than that, you disempower it. So if you'd like to live an inspired and purposeful and meaningful and powerful and very productive life, ones that are based on priority, ones that's basically inspired from within, then you want to identify what's really most important to you. Your life is constantly demonstrating, it's trying to show you it. You're getting feedback from every imaginable aspect of your life to try to help you do that. So give yourself permission to be authentic. You may have to say no to people on all the things that they're imposing on you. You may have to say thank you, but no thank you. I've got my mission to fulfill. Anything less than that is unfulfilling to me. And learn how to say no and get more respect in the process. But if you don't, you'll be, end up scattering yourself and trying to fulfill people on the outside instead of living on the inside. You remember on The Secret, the movie, I said, when the voice and the vision on the inside is louder and more profound than all opinions on the outside, you begin to master your life. So it's time to get clear on what your highest value is. It's time to structure your life strategically around it. Be an unborrowed visionary and go and live inspired, purposeful fulfillment. If you do, there's no reason why you can't do something extraordinary on planet Earth. Thank you for joining me for this presentation today. If you found value out of the presentation, please go below and please share your comments. We certainly appreciate that feedback. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icons. That way I can bring more content to you and share more to help you maximize your life. I look forward to our next presentation. Thank you so much for joining me.